Hello, welcome back to another video. We are at a Welsh Cobb show today with Lewis and Gambler. Lewis is just in the back getting dressed. Um, they've started the Section Ds, so we're pushed for time. I don't know how many, um, there's not many classes until they're in. So Lewis is just getting dressed. I can get Gambler with his bridle on and spruced up pretty quick but the weather is absolutely awful Lewis is going to get sopping wet but yeah he loves the Welsh Cobb shows this is his first Welsh Cobb show of the year it's run completely different to the shows the other in hand shows he does they want them feisty if they canter a bit it doesn't matter they want them bouncing off the walls this is that they like the attitude of the Welsh cobs. Um, so Lewis loves the atmosphere here. He's now got the confidence to do this. So how what they do at the Welsh cobs, because there's four different sections to the Welsh horses, A's, B's, C's and D's. They have a different ring for each section and they split the classes right down. So you'll have like yearling fillies, yearling colts, two-year-old, Philly, Philly and Geldings they usually mix. Although they don't in the Ds. It is split up in the Ds. Um, but yeah, then you get the four-year-old Geldings, Baron Mares, Brood Mares. It's split up to each different section like that. And then everyone that's come first or second in all those classes go into the championship for the section D. And then that champion wins the medal. Some shows are bronze medals, some are silver medals, some are gold medals. This is a bronze medal show. Um, so, of course, Lewis would love to come champion one day and get the bronze medal. Do I think it's possible with Gambler being a gelding? I don't know. I have got the bronze medal with Gambler in the past, but he was a stallion back then. Can't remember whether I'd done it when he was four or five years old but he was young and he was a stallion and I got the bronze medal with him and that's what Lewis is hoping to get but being geldings sadly geldings are frowned upon are not liked in the Welsh showing world sort of thing it is all about stallions and fillies that's why we are looking for a filly for Lewis and why I'm keeping Donut as a stallion but yes Gambler has got a bronze medal. I've got it at home. Um, if I remember, I'll insert a picture of it here now. But that's that's what Lewis wants. But we still come. We still try just so Lewis can get the experience of doing all this and learning the ropes. And he's got very friendly with some of these Welsh Cobb producers and they've taught him so much, given him so much confidence to do this at this level. Um, but yeah, I think Lewis is all dressed now, so I'm going to go in the back and spruce Gambler up. Although this weather, it's, oh, it's sunny this side. It's pitch black that side. So, uh, which way? The clouds are going that way. So I think we might be in for a little bit of sunshine, which will be good. But the ground is so slippy. It is so wet. It's so slippy, but yeah, I don't know. I'll spruce gambler up a bit but if it rains there's just no point in it is it so yes right let's go and get him ready and make sure lewis has got everything he needs so he's here you're all dressed yeah. looking forward to it yeah yeah you like the welsh club shows don't you yeah they're more fun yeah. why are they more fun i get to run into the ring and show them off welsh and stuff yes you, you do like that part don't you at the welsh club shows they do what's called flashing them and you go in trotting in the ring. Everyone is bonkers. The atmosphere, it, it's crazy. It's a different kind of atmosphere than any other show that we do. Like the normal in-hand shows you do and the likes of Your Horse Live. Everything is calm and sedate. And the county shows, some of them try in, don't they? Some don't. Some do. um, but here, it's it's wild, isn't it? It can get. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you love all this drama and attitude. And this is where Gambler usually does really come to life, isn't it? 
because um, yeah, he loves this. And he's not as lazy, is he, at these shows? Yeah, he Although, we're, yeah, he enjoys this. Although we call him a lazy horse, he loves this. But right, right, let's get him done. And you're all ready, so you just need to find his bridle, please. I'll get him tarted up and we'll get going. Spruced up, heavens have just opened again. How many are in this class uh, that two. have gone in? Two. two, two in the class before him, and it's about to go in. So I'm just going to st stick his bridle on. But yeah, look, oh, you can't see the rain. This phone doesn't pick it up. It's raining. What do you feel about uh, going in the rain? It's all right, it's all right. Yeah, gonna be a bit slippy, isn't it? Yeah. Nothing we can do, yeah. but this is well. It's great British weather at the moment, isn't it? It is, what is it? It's middle of June. And uh, what are you doing kicking? Um, middle of June. And this weather is atrocious. Couple of dry days and then back to raining again. So, um, yeah, it's awful. Absolutely awful. We're gonna be sopping wet, but yeah. Right, you got your gloves, whip. Are you shivering already? Oh, come. Who's shivering? <laughs> um, yeah, so we're ending this one class though, aren't we? Unless you get in the championship, but we can get back and dry before then. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get his bridle on and we're gonna get going. Look at the state of his jacket already. It's sopping wet. Oh God, why do we do this? So we're just giving him a little bit of a warm up, but this is it. Look at the clouds, sopping wet. Yeah, they want them bouncing. They want them trotting, really pushing. Don't mind a bit of attitude from the Welshies here. So yeah, they're just gonna try and wake him up a little bit.
some out my class. It's a shame, isn't it? You're the only one that was in there. There was what? Three? Four? Was it four that we booked in? But you're the only one that um, turned up, which is a shame. But the weather, we think the weather's put everyone off, hasn't it? Because it's really quite quiet here. So we're just watching the Young Stock Championship. As well as splitting the classes right down, they split the championships right down as well, don't they? So we've got the three-year-old and unders championship in now. Then you've got the four-year-old and over championship next, which Gambler can actually go in because you've won your class, didn't you? Yeah. But you're not going to take him in there, are you? Why not? Uh, well, no point. He won't win and don't really want to tie him out for the Gelding Championship. Yeah. The four-year-old and over championship has geldings, mares, stallions, section Ds all together. Sadly, it is usually a mare or a stallion that wins, so it will just tire him out, lose his energy. In once all those championships are done, they do another ring. They do the gelding championship, don't they? And then like the part bred ones, because there's part breds and TGCA classes going on as well today, isn't there? So we're going to take him in the gelding championship, aren't we? So you're against the A's, B's, C's and D's. Is the part breds in there as well? I'm sure it's everyone. Every gelding is in that championship. But he's got more chance of doing well in that one because it's geldings all together. So yeah, we're going to miss the main championship and go for the gelding championship class. But you love this, don't you? Just the uh, atmosphere but the ground is very slippy out there, so you don't want them running and prancing around too much. But yeah, right, we're just gonna watch this and then spruce him up again and get him out for the Gelding Championship. So yeah, the championship's just been called, who won it? The Big Stallion. Big Black Stallion and a two-year-old filly got reserve champion. So, you know, I'm afraid Gelding's never got to get a look in really on the championships which is fine because they lose their spark this is it once a year they've been gelding they lose their drive don't they usually mm. so i understand why stallions always win it but it is uh, i don't want to lose his energy for the gelding class so well no that filly's uh, <laughs> she's having a bit of drama over the sachet the sachet sash <laughs> um yeah but like we love it Right, we're gonna wait for this championship. So that was the Youngstock Championship. That's just gone in, won by the Stallion and reserved with the two-year-old filly. They're now just going in with the four-year-old and over championships, but the Youngstock Champion and Reserve can go into this class as well. And now the, the champion of this class is the one that will win the medal status. This is the bronze medal show that we're at today. So the winner of this will get the bronze medal and that's highly sought, sought after for the Welsh Cobbs. This is what they all aim for, is the, the medal status. So I wish, looking back now, I wish, in a way I wish we'd never gelded gambler because he was an amazing stallion and of course he's won his bronze medal already in the past but if we didn't geld him you'd only just be able to show him now wouldn't you so you'd be learning from the bottom so you wouldn't be at the level you are now you wouldn't have done half this stuff with gambler you couldn't because your age so in a way are you pleased we gelded gambler so you could have played with him for all these years mm. yeah but yeah it's uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, next year you can be out doing this with Donut. I just need him to bulk up, put the weight on, um, and then we'll get him out to some Welsh shows because they don't mind a bit of rearing and bucking. Not dangerous, they don't want dangerous, no dangerous horses, but showing a bit of life about them and excitement is acceptable. Right, who do you think's winning this one? Either that stallion, that black one, or this bay one, I think. The bay one. You the, think the bay one? The bay one and the black one. Has that one got a bronze medal before? 
What, the bay one? The bay one. Probably. Probably. Yeah, you can win many medals. You can have hundreds of medals. I've only got one. Got one. Um, that's my claim to fame. Gambler is a bronze medal winner back in the past. We have done it once. But yeah. Right, let's watch this class and we'll let you know um, which one won it. But you think the bay won. Yeah. I'm tied between the bay and the black. I really am. I don't know. We'll see. So you think this bay won the end? Good eye, Lewis. You know what you're looking at, don't you? So, we're just heading down now for your gelding championship, aren't we? Yep. Looking forward to it? Yeah. yeah. Good. He's looking good, isn't he? He's losing his winter coat now. Finally. It takes so long with him, doesn't it? Yeah. But yeah. Right, let's see how we do here. The judge is just going around over and I look at all of them. The wind's getting right up his bum. So we're back in the lorry. You got nowhere in the Gelding Championship, did you? No. The C got champion, didn't it? And the A got uh, reserve champion. But it's fun. You still have fun, didn't you? Yeah. Always like to take your best boy out. But yeah, we're just going to drive home now and chuck him out with Donut for the afternoon. But that's the end of this vlog. But don't forget to like and subscribe because we've got some exciting vlogs coming up, haven't we? The next vlog you see after this one is um, is rather exciting, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon for the next one. Bye.